Hello YouTube, my name is Sean Connors and welcome back to Let's Build an RPG. And for tonight's programme we're going to be doing a dry run of rolling up a character. Now I've seen it done a number of times now in playtest and had a lot of feedback about it, but it's important now that you see this done and uh, you can see the process of how it's building. And then after this dry run, in the next couple of programmes, we can actually look at uh, uh, fleshing out more detail as I've said before. So we can look at how initiative works, how combat will play out, how the healing system will work etc. And we can flesh out a few more spells in process and how that whole thing holds together. But for tonight, of course, it's the dry run. Now, I've made a few decisions. I want a specialist, so that means that uh, two paths are going to have no cost implications, and that's going to be combat and magic. I just like the idea of that, wielding those two powers. But stealth-wise, my character um, is nowhere near a specialist. In fact, it's it's so far beyond me that every skill in that particular path costs four times its value if I choose to take any at all. That's quite a cost implication, but that's the route I've chosen. And I want to play a Wild Dwarf, because I think that would be really great. Seeing them wield this magic and combat prowess sounds, uh, sounds like fun. So we're going to come off camera in a second. You're going to be looking into a box. I'm going to roll some dice to determine the Dwarven frame, how that affects me. And obviously then roll some dice so we can find out the initial stats and you can see that process in operation, how it works. So without further ado, let's do that. So we know we're going to play a dwarf and the first thing that we're going to do, and it's going to be a specialist, so basically I'm going to have to pick two of the paths that are going to be my um, my favourite areas, which is going to be, I like the idea of combat and magic, I love combining those two, so that's what I'm going to choose. And stealth will be my weakest path, that will be more important in the next video that will come hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday at the latest. I'll leave the DM's tips this week till probably Friday. But for the purpose of this I'm going to roll into the box now to determine the frame. So let's see what happens. And we've got a 2 and that basically means for a dwarf he's quite slender and that's my uh, so plus 1 manipulation. That's quite interesting. So plus 1 manipulation. I can tell that I'm 4 foot 5 and about 130 pounds. So I'm quickly making a note of that as we speak. And now we can determine the stats. So I have to choose one stat to be my main stat, and I get to roll 5d6, taking the best three. So I'm going to choose attunement, as I want magic to be my sort of, if you like, I hopefully my favourite stat. We'll see how the dice turn out for me. So, attunement roll. Um, not bad. Um, there's a couple off camera, so I'll just slide them over so you can see them. There we go. Um, which gives me 14 attunement, making a quick note of that, which is very nice too. Now I want strength to be my second most important stat, so that's 46, and that's uh, also very tasty too. That's a 15, yep, 15 strength, which is kind of nice. Now I've only got three dice for the remaining two, and I'm going to choose manipulation first because I get a bonus of plus one, so... Let's see if my luck is going to keep holding, and it is at uh, 11, uh, just move that over, 11 plus 1 is 12, so I've got 12 manipulation, and finally it's whatever comes out for IQ. Well, it continue to hold my luck, and again it's only 3 dice. Let us see. And again, that's rather good actually, that's uh, 11, 14, wow, so very good actually. So those are the uh, stats, 14 achievement, 15 strength, 12 manipulation, and a 14 IQ. Looks quite tasty to me. Now we can determine a few factors from this. The first one is, of course, we can work out the luck score. So we add all the stats together. So that was 14 achievement, 15 strength is 29, plus 12 manipulation, which is 39, 41, plus 14 IQ, which makes 50... 55, I think, I'll double check that, it's 29, 39, 41, 51, yeah, 55 is the total, divided by 4, crikey, I'm going to have to work this out actually, um, that surprised me, let's see what that comes out to be, so that's 55 divided by 4, 13.75, it does round down unfortunately, so it will be 13, but still, 13 luck, so very good indeed, so that's that's that. Then we've got speed, which is strength and manipulation divided by 2. So my strength is 15, my manipulation is 12. So that's 27, which basically will mean 13. So I end up with a 13 speed, remembering that 15 is the maximum for dwarves. So again, close, very good stats, 13, 15. I wonder if this means that my health will be the same at 13. Let's see if it pans out the same. So we've got a... Um, 
Strength, which is 15. Attunement is 14, which is 29. And Luck score, which is 13. So 29 and 13, so that's 13 of 42. 42 divided by 3, which equals 14. Exactly, very nice. So he starts with a health, 14 health, which is very tasty indeed. Now, we can also now work out how much experience points I get to start with with this character. Something that came out during playtest was the following. 500 XP per point was too low, 1000 was too high, and 750 was just right. It's the Goldilocks syndrome. It just worked perfect. So 750 is the change that we've subsequently come up with during playtest. So let's work out how many experience points this character has. So you add your IQ, which is 14, and your luck together, which in my particular case is 13, so that's 27. Divide by 2, which will mean 13. So I've got 13, um, 13 experience times 13 times 750, which means my character starts off with 9,750 XP. Now I have to divide that by 3, I'll explain why, and that gives me an exact number of 3,250. I have to spend one third of the total on background skills at least. So for this character I have to spend 3,250 or from my 9,750 on background skills and that's the next video that I will be shooting and I'll probably do that tomorrow and that will just focus on the skills that I've chosen and just show you um, a little bit about how that actually works so you can see it in process. I'm sorry we don't have character sheets at the moment. That I'm currently negotiating that. I'm going to be talking to Carl from Natural 20 Films. I think some of his stuff is brilliant to see if he can come up with a character sheet for this particular system. And we still need to flesh out a few things with him. Anyway, um, I've been Sean Connors. This has been The Outsiders talking about Let's Build an RPG. Uh, thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.